Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. We have a great video for you today. We're going to show you the ins and outs of making an ADA sign on a Shop Saber CNC router. ADA signs require an extremely precise machine to do all the operation. Let's look into that a little bit. For one thing, we have uh, raster spheres in there, which are the, the small balls that are used for braille. So you have to have a machine that'll drill the hole and will come back and insert the ball exactly in that hole. And if it doesn't line up perfect, it doesn't work. You know, you'll have some manufacturers that tell you, yeah, we can do ADA signs as long as you don't mind putting the balls in yourself. There's a couple other things that require extreme accuracy. First off, there are a lot of tiny, tiny letters. And if you don't have a real accurate machine, you'll see bumps and all kind of hiccups in that. And to top that, we've got two pieces of plastic that are glued together and we have to cut through one of them and not touch the other one. So it takes an extremely accurate machine and we're able to do that because these are ball screw machines. Now let's look at some other features on this machine. This machine is a Shop Saber IS 510. 510 means the table size is five feet by 10 feet. I selected that because I needed to be able to cut some larger materials. And my idea was to be able to throw a sheet on there and cut multiple parts out. And so that actually required what's called flow through fixturing. So that's why I had the vacuum table set up. But you know, there's some applications that don't, don't really need to use vacuum. And that's why I put the T-slot features on the table for special fixturing. Now, another thing I added was part locator pins. And I did that because that enables me to align sheets really, really quickly when I put them on the table. So that was another consideration I had. Now, there's something else that's involved in, in, in our ADA sign project. Number one, there's some real requirements for high precision because the repeatability has to be dead on in order to drill that small hole for that raster sphere and have it inserted and work. So it has to be really accurate. Well, accuracy comes from the, the design of the machine frame. It comes from your motion control system. It comes from the ball screws. It comes from the control itself. It comes from the servos. So that was really important for that specification. Now, I had another application on here that I wanted to do some reverse engineering, so I put a laser scanner on there. Finally, a lot of the things I do have multiple tools required, so that made sense to have a tool changer. So that's why I spec this machine the way I did. If you want more information on this particular model, you can go to the Shop Saber website and watch a walk around video on the IS series. Now, let's go learn how to make ADA signs. ADA signs are a neat project and there's lots of signs in a building. What you see on the screen here is, is a representation of one of those signs. It's normally going to be a, a base piece of plastic and then there's a contrasting color, in our case, they're blue and white. And the white raises up from the surface. And then you'll also have the, the braille balls, that we call them raster spheres. Now let's look at the steps that's required to actually produce these. Okay, we're actually looking at Rhino to start with to kind of explain the process. What you start with is a flat drawing. And, and so it's just lines, and you'll see the lines for the outside, you'll see the actual shapes, you'll see the text, and then you'll see the holes for the sphere. So that's where you start. Then we start out with a piece of base plastic. In our case, it's, it's blue, so it's a bottom layer. So you start out with a piece of plastic like that. And if we look at that, you can see it has thickness. Okay, and then we put another layer on a blank, and that's white. So that's what the stack looks like. And this white one is actually adhered. Uh, it has pressure sensitive adhesive on the back, so it just laid on there. So that becomes the blank that we start with. And then our process is to actually uh, do the machining. And when we get finished, we'll turn this off and you can see it. And we'll have this one turned on. And that's what it's gonna look like. So, and then we have, of course, the beads. So that's what we're gonna start with is we actually take our blank with the white plastic attached to it. We put it on the machine. Then we start our machining operations. And when we're done, we get these signs. Now let's go to VCAR Pro and I'll show you the steps for tool pathing. What you see on the screen is VCAR Pro, and you see the material, and the material is roughly two feet by four feet. It's held with flow through fixturing on the vacuum table, and then you see the individual drawings for the ADA signs. And there's a typical sample here, and these are the smaller ones are eight inches by eight inches, and the larger ones are 10 by 10. Before we actually get into the tool pathing, let's stop and let's take a look at the tools that we're going to be using for this operation. The first three tools that we use are actually part of an ADA sign package that we sell here at Shop Saber CNC. They're actually created by AccentSignage.com. The first tool is actually the V-bit that we use. That's a 60 degree V. The second tool 
is a drill, and that drills the small holes for the uh, raster spheres, and of course this is the inserter that inserts those raster spheres in there. The final tool is from our friends over at Vortex Tool, and that's an eighth inch bit for cutting plastic. Now let's take these tools and let's create the tool paths so we can make these sides. Now the first tool path that we create on here is with a V bit, and here's what it does. It basically cuts out all of these outlines, and if we look real close, we'll zoom in here and you can see it. Basically, the tool is just following the center of those lines. And because it's a V-bit, what it's doing is it's creating those lifted areas that are beveled on the edge. And the depth is really critical because it has to cut through the top layer of plastic and through the adhesive and not down into the blue. So it's a, it requires a lot of accuracy. So that's the first operation that we're going to do. Okay, then the next thing is we're actually going to drill the holes. And those are the holes for the raster spheres, and you can see them down here. That's what those are. So the machine's going to take that bit, drill those tiny holes. Then we're going to actually change tools, pick up the inserter, and now it's going to actually insert those raster spheres into those holes. And this is where the extreme accuracy is really required because if the repeatability is not good on a machine, that, that process doesn't work very well. And then finally, we'll cut the outsides. Now let's, let's take a look at that in simulation. So we'll go to the simulation, and Here's what it looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the V-bit and it's going to cut that out. Okay, then we'll actually, then we'll actually, that forms a mask that will actually peel off. Okay, then we'll come back and we'll drill the holes for the beads and we'll come back with the inserter and we'll actually insert all the beads and finally we'll cut the outsides. And when we get finished, when we remove the scrap, we have our signs. Now, the next step is to output the programs for the machine. There's actually going to be two programs. One's going to be the V-bit, because we have to run that, then we have to peel the mask away. Then the second program is actually the drill, the inserter, and the outside. Let's output those programs, and let's go out to the machine. Our ADA sign project came out really, really good. It's amazing the accuracy and the intricacy of this. In fact, when you start looking at the corners and the letters, they're just perfect. And you know, something that's really difficult in CNC is to actually drill the holes for the raster spheres and insert them with the machine. And of course, because the shop saver machines have ball screws, we're able to do that. You know, I wanted to do this project because I wanted to take some of the mysticism out of how you make ADA signs. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.